they just live. Let's. Okay. I think I'm live. Let me. I'm gonna try to mount this. And then I'm gonna show y'all what I did. This mocktail prep today almost took me out, y'all. The mocktail, Lord, sorry, hold on, hold on. This mocktail prep and clearly mounting my phone too is just about taking me out. So let me tell y'all what I did. So I wanted to try something new and I wanted to use things that I already had in the house, right? Um, I don't know if you can see what's on the counter. Let me see, let me see, how can I move this stuff around? I was not as prepared as I usually am, so apologies. Um, okay, I think you can see everything if I scoot it in like this. I'm gonna hold it up anyway, but. Y'all, I was in here sweating. This mocktail better be good because I made this up. I don't know if this is a real thing, but I made this up. So I'm making some rosemary pear martinis on this mocktail Monday. So here's what I did. First of all, I'm missing some already. My bad. Okay, let me show you my ingredients and then I'll tell you what I prepped and then I'll make the drink. So first thing I have is sparkling water, Perrier, that's, that's Bay. Um, I have this, this is a non-alcoholic wine that y'all have seen before, it says alcohol free. Um, and it just says it's a um, sweet Southern grapes without the alcohol. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use this, but I have it here as a backup. Um, I have some pineapple juice, just 100% pineapple juice, good old dough. I have my sweet and lime juice, but I also have a lime here. Y'all know I'm obsessed with lime right now. I have some honey. This is some raw organic honey, so it actually has like pieces in there. And I have rosemary, good old rosemary. I have, um, this was something I had to prep ahead of time. So this is my simple syrup that I usually make, which is equal parts water to sugar. But I infused that with rosemary as well. So what I did was I boiled um, a cup of water and a cup of sugar on the stove and I put the rosemary in there so it can like infuse into the simple syrup. Trying to be fancy, y'all. Um, this is the first mocktail Monday of July, and I was like, you know what? July is my birthday month, and we're about to step it up. So that's it. And then for the pear part of the recipe, um, I cut up some pears. Oh, dropped the whole phone, y'all. My bad. Dropped the whole phone. Um, but I have some pears. I'll show you the pears that I boiled on the stove so this is pear um a little bit of lime juice sugar and water and this is the base for our pear puree that's about to go into the blender so basically um if you were making this as not a mocktail pretty much what you would do is um you would you would pretty much just um, use some pear flavored vodka. But of course, because it's a mocktail, I'm not. So there we go. I don't know what I did. Oh, here we go. Jesus. This, I promise y'all this, this recipe took me out. Okay, let me see if I can remount it, my phone, so it doesn't fall off. can't see anything on the counter, can you? Can you see? Can somebody tell me if y'all can see? So anyway, here's what we need to do first. We need to make the pear puree because that's going to be the base for our martini. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm putting the pear mixture that I boiled on the stove into my blender. So I'm putting the whole thing, everything in there. So I'm gonna try not to splash it on myself. I got a spoon somewhere. I got a fork. So we're gonna put the pear, the lime juice, some pear don't fill in the flow, into the blender. I'm not gonna add ice or anything because I'm gonna add ice um, to the drink itself. So I've already got ice in my shaker, so I'm not gonna add um, ice to this. Um, kind of. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna still. I'm gonna just hold everything up as I do it because I think I done messed it up, and now I done everything is not in order. So I'll reshow the ingredients. So the first thing I'm doing here is I am um, blending up our pear puree that I boiled. And so let's do that first. Let me put this on right. Cut the blender on. And again, this pear puree is just, um, it's four pears that I cut up and diced. They were already soft, so I didn't struggle to cut them up. Um, a little bit of water, some sugar, and some lime juice. So we are going to blend. <laughs> I literally just finished boiling like I let it cool a little bit on the stove but it's still warm um, this should work okay so this is what the pear puree looks like now so that's this is the pears that I just took off the stove and um, again I, I boiled the pears till they got a little bit softer than what they were and I put sugar water and lime juice in here hey Quandra girl hey all right, so got my shaker and there's ice already in here. Um, and then I have like my little strainer thing because I don't want any of the pear skin to go in here. This is not really what this is for. <laughs> this is supposed to be to catch stuff from going down your drain, but I bought a new one and I'm using it for cocktails. So this is now part of my mocktail cocktail um, toolkit. So anyway, I'm just gonna pour this in here and I'm using the, uh, the strainer to keep the skin of the pear out of here. So let's see, I need, my, I need a spoon. Oh, I have a spoon. All right. So we're just gonna get the pear puree into here and um i'm gonna just strain a little bit more because i'm only making two drinks so this should probably be this should be enough all right so again this pear puree is just pear sugar water and lime juice i boiled it on the stove so the pear could get a little bit softer and uh, put it in my blender. And now I'm just straining it so the pear skin doesn't get in there. I'm gonna do it one more time and then that should be enough. So this is about to be a rosemary pear martini, y'all. Trying to be fancy for July. Kinda look like some pear applesauce. I could probably make me some pear applesauce I don't know if y'all like applesauce, but I like the Mott's. And um, I usually buy the green one from the store. It's like pear flavor. But I'm going to just start making my own pear applesauce because that's, that's literally what this looks like. Okay, cool. So I think this is enough. So look, I done strained the pear through here. Actually, I'm gonna use the lid of my blender. It's not dirty of stuff. 
So now I have the pear puree. I don't know if you can see this. I have pear puree and ice in this shaker. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a splash of the pineapple juice, literally just a little bit. I'm going to juice my lime. So this is one lime that I cut in half and I'm gonna juice the whole thing into here. The fork just helps um, get all the juice out of the lime. So since I learned that trick, I use it every single time. And you can do this for lime and other citrus as well. Grapefruit, oranges, lemons, whatever. You can use this, this trick. And I won't even charge it. I got it for free, so I'm sharing it for free. All right, let me go ahead and juice the other half. Y'all probably can't see nothing that I'm doing, and I'm sorry. All right, so we're juicing the lime. Just fresh lime juice just takes everything to the next level. So since I learned that, lime go in everything, I promise you, food or drink. All right, so we got the juice of the lime in here and our pear puree. Next, I'm going to add some of our rosemary infused simple syrup. So first I'm gonna take the rosemary out because I don't want the rosemary in the drink. I just wanted the rosemary to infuse into the simple syrup. So taking that out. So the rosemary is out. And now, well, there's still one little spray, but I'm gonna let it go in there. And I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna put a splash in here. I don't know what the measurement for a splash is. Jesus just tells me when to stop, so that's when I stop. And so now we are going to secure our lid as much as we can. Yes, lime, listen, it changes everything. Once I learned that, I was like, oh snap. The people that already knew, y'all should have told me. The girl was struggling. But um, for drinks, cold drinks, I like to shake, 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 shake until the um, shaker gets frothy. You see, or like condensation on it. Hey Lou. Um, how long did you keep the rosemary in your fuse? So I, um, basically I just, um, I put the sugar and the water in and then I put the rosemary in at the same time. I let it all boil together until the syrup dissolved, which probably was like five minutes or so. And then I put, I put it in a container. I'm probably going to end up putting this in a mason jar. Um, and then I put it in the fridge to cool. So you can just keep your rosemary in with your simple syrup until you're ready to actually use the mix. Um, I had also thought about putting ginger in there. I was like a rosemary ginger simple syrup would be really, really good. Um, and I actually had ginger, but I had already started and I was like, I'm not starting over. So yes. So our drink is in here. So I'm gonna prep our glasses. I have my little martini glasses here. And I told y'all I had honey. So I have raw honey. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to <laughs> be a little fancy. And I'm gonna try to use the honey in my presentation. We are gonna see how this turns out. Cause it might be a mess. And if it does, if it is, don't judge us, yeah, you girl, okay? But I was like, maybe this could be cute if I could figure out how to like, you know, it's not quite, <laughs> it's not quite drizzling, but y'all get, y'all get where I was going, right? Y'all get where I was going. I'm still practicing my bartending skills. So I'm gonna just do that to the other glass. And this honey is thick too, y'all, cause this is some organic, raw honey so it really has like pieces in there i'm gonna tell you what it says it says it contains pollen propolis and pieces of honeycomb 
We never transport our bees to pollinate commercial crops. So this is like, it's called, the brand is called Really Raw Honey. And I love it. I use it for my tea and stuff. You see, it's like chunky because there's like pieces of everything that I just read out. And it's so, so good. It's really, really good. All right, so let's see if I can. Maybe this would have been easier to drizzle if I would have warmed it up, but I did. Okay, so there we go. We got our honey. Now, I'm going to pour our shaken, not stirred hair martini. It's already chilled and cooled that I made my own homemade puree for. Huh. Okay. And I could leave it like this, but again, because I like sparkling stuff, I'm gonna just put a little bit of the sparkling water on top so it's a sparkling Y'all see that? Hey, give us a little sparkle. And then finally, I have more rosemary to garnish with. These sprigs was long. I should have cut them, but I didn't want to. But that's it. There we go. This is a rosemary pear martini with homemade pear puree. Honey drizzle in the glass. Um, so yeah, we done. So let me tell you the ingredients one more time in case you're just joining. I used four pears, boiled the pears on the stove with sugar, water, and lime juice. Use this as my lime juice. Boil the pears until they got soft and then I set them aside to let them cool. I also prepped simple syrup, which is equal part sugar to water. So if you use one cup of sugar, use one cup of water. If you use half cup of, half cup of sugar, half cup of water. As long as it's equal parts, it doesn't matter. And if you're making this as like a big batch to entertain a group, you'll want more than one cup, but because I'm only using it, I'm only making it for a small, um, I'm only making two drinks, I'm making a small amount. And so I just boiled the sugar and water and I put rosemary in it. I boiled it on the stove until the sugar dissolved. And then I put the simple syrup mixture into the fridge so it can cool. Then I put the pear puree into the blender with um, just by itself. So this was the pear puree that I used in, in the drink. And then what I did was I blended it, and then before I added it to my um, my drink shaker, I used this to strain it. So this is like the leftover pear um, and skin. Then in the blender, I put, or the blender, in the shaker, I put the pear puree, I put some pineapple juice, I squeezed the juice of one fresh lime, and I think that's it. And I shook it together. And then I used some fresh uh, raw organic honey to drizzle in my glass, put the drink in there, and then used more rosemary to decorate it. And that's it. So this was literally an experience. Y'all, I did not know how to make fruit puree. Fruit puree. I was like, I feel like I'm about to make some baby food, which pretty much I guess this is. I might just eat the rest of this and not even use it for a drink. But um, you really can use any fruit for this. You can do strawberries, you can do blueberries, but like any any fruit that you like, you can make a fruit, a fruit puree and then you can store it in a container and use it for future drinks or just have it on hand. Um, you can also go ahead and make any sort of um, simple syrup that you like and keep that on hand for any drinks that you may wanna use. So you can just do the standard simple syrup, which is just sugar and water by itself, or you can infuse, see a little gnat. 
or you can infuse herbs like I did. I infused rosemary. You can infuse ginger. You can infuse fruit into your simple syrup. Um, so for the summertime, I feel like infuse everything like light, fun, fresh drinks, using herbs. That's like fun, something to kind of give you a little kick and take it up a notch without a lot of um, extra, you know, extra work. You can infuse mint into your simple syrup, whatever you want to do. You can infuse that into your simple syrup. And then um, if you don't have a shaker, that's okay too. You could have just put everything in a pitcher as long as you strain your fruit puree, your, can't even say fruit puree together. Um, put that in a pitcher, you know, stir it up and then let it chill, you know, add ice. But I didn't want to have to add ice to my glass. So that's why I wanted to add ice to my shaker. But yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. Let me taste it and see what it tastes like. Y'all, this is so. This is so good. Thank you, Quandra. She said infuse with THC too. Listen, whatever you want to infuse your stuff with, that's your business. Like Tabitha Brown, that is your business. Do what you want to do. But yeah, that's it. So I think this is uh, my Tell Monday episode 10 or something like that. I feel like these 10 weeks went by really quick. But, like I always say, if y'all have specific drinks that you want me to try out, if you have a favorite cocktail that you want me to try to turn into a mocktail, let me know. Um, for this, if you wanted to turn it into a real cocktail, instead of the um, pear puree, you could just add pear flavored vodka. They have that. Um, or any other fruit flavored vodka or just plain vodka. Whatever you want to put in there, you can. But um, mocktails are the way to go for me. So hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. Um, I told y'all last week that I was going to start making mocktails for kids to be able to do. Um, but I need to pick a different day of the week because this, like I said, almost took me out trying to prep for this mocktail. I couldn't do two in one day. So I got to figure out what day is going to be the kids version. And theirs will be more kid friendly. Like I'm going to try not to use like a lot of knives and have to do like a lot of cutting, like cutting the fruit and stuff. Um, or I'll just put a disclaimer to say, kids, make sure your parents are with you to help you do that part. But anyway, um, and I'm doing that by request. Someone requested that. They said their kids enjoyed, you know, seeing me make the drinks, that they found my instructions and my explanations to be easy. So they want a version for them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. That's cute. I think that's a cute idea. Um, what else do I want to tell y'all before I go? That might be it. Um, this is all stuff that I already had, too, in the house. So I already had the pears. They were about to go bad. I still had like four left. So I was like, let me use those for this drink. Um, obviously, I already had sugar and water to make the simple syrup. I already had this. This is from a drink from last week. I didn't even use it. But this is my non-alcoholic wine. I um, already had my sparkling water that I topped this off with. I already had my limes. I already had my lime juice. I already had my pineapple juice because this came as a six-pack. And I already had my honey. So when you're doing mocktails or cocktails, you're trying to just think of something to kind of jazz up your, you know, your everyday routine, whether you just want like a cute little drink with dinner or you're having, well, you ain't really having no parties, but parties with your family or whoever's with you. Um, get creative and come up with something that's, that, have, that you can use the things that you already have in the house. You don't have to always go out and buy something because um, I already have my ingredients for next week too. So that's going to be exciting. I'm excited about next week. Um, what else? I do have the birthday drink that I'm going to try. So my birthday is July 22nd. So I'm going to still do the mocktail on that Monday, the 20th. Um, but I'm also going to go live on my birthday and do the birthday mocktail. So I'm going to do two birthday mocktails that week probably. Um, but I'm super excited for that. So I hope y'all tune in for that. Look forward for that. Uh, look forward to that. Um, and then that might be it. I'm going to start putting all the recipes on my blog as well. So they're kind of all in one place for people to go back and watch. If you don't want to have to go back and watch each individual video or try to find them on my timeline, you'll be able to see them on the blog. I'll have like the written instructions and also the video to kind of accompany it. But they are all on my YouTube channel as well. I did start a YouTube for L's Dream Events. So if you just go to YouTube.com and type in L's Dream Events, E-L-L-E-S, and then Dream Events, you'll see it. And all the mocktail videos are on there. 
Um, these could be bomb for a nice wedding, a nice summer wedding. A rosemary pear martini is like your signature drink, girl, or sir, ma'am, or sir, you know. Um, but yes, I keep stepping in the pear that I dropped, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Um, but thank y'all for tuning in, and like I say all the time, if you have um, recommendations or suggestions for future Mocktail Mondays, just let me know, let me know, send me a DM. And if you're having an event or planning for a future event, or just want some sort of cocktail for yourself, or you're like, hey, I have these ingredients at home, what kind of mocktail or cocktail can I make with it? Um, shoot me a DM, I'll be happy to help you out. Yeah, but yeah, bye, because I'm rambling now, bye.